Hey guys, look who's here on the train. It's Milliam and Crow. They have joined the train ride. Ain't that awesome? All right, let's start the game up. So last time was fun. Last time was a crazy chapter. There was crazy stuff going on. Just everything was crazy. And now we're back in school. We're back in not crazy school. Oops, that's cool. So, uh, now that we're here, we're just gonna dive right in. Dive right into the student council room and give m and receive Milliam's thingies, papers, or whatever. Let's just go. Well, Tawa said she wanted me to come to the student council room. Uh, I would like to knock, please. The door's open. It is. Come on in. Thank Sorry if I disturbed you. Class business, anyway. Less. Why the spread you've got on your desk? There? Less business. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now. That's. Oh, sorry, sorry, Tawa. Anyway, God, that's this is Millions notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs. All right. I'll be sure to pass this on to Million next time I see her. Ah, I did it. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? Hmm. All I know is that she came with a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're be apparently it's something ah. similar for Million. You can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. <laughs> yeah. I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Oh, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. Oh, stop. Stop it, please. Whoa there. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. But as long as he's active and engaged with his class 7 work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. Uh, let's get Still, Crow. I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Well, let's get Crow graduated. That's something we gotta do, guys. Am I right? Placing Crow in class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Crow did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam, too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13 year old girl. 13 years old? She looks like she's six. Yeah, I get what you mean. So, she really is 13 then? You look six years old as well too, Tawa, so... Or six, yeah. Did yeah. I say six? She scored really well on her entrance exam though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. Hey, Selene. <laughs> Now, where have I heard of someone like that before? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, all right. Excuse me, then. 
I got a call. Hello, Reen Schwarz are speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. Are you still on the academy grounds by any chance? As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. You oh, know no. how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? You're eating caramel cookie ice cream, so you're pretty good. That's <sighs> good. Alright. Sounds tasty. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of class seven. Aw, I got a kiss over the phone. W wait a second, when did I become the... <laughs> she really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. Let it be known, I've never been a fan of caramel, but you never know. Maybe your caramel is the kind that'll make me like caramel again. Or for the first time. Alright, I guess I'd better start looking for Milliam. But where do I even start? She could be almost anywhere. I should probably ask a couple of the others for help. I doubt I'll accomplish much just checking ra places at random. Come to think of it, I haven't gotten Crow's number yet either. I think the I think two other classmates would be enough for this. Though I should remember to ask him when I get the chance. Caramel is better than chocolate, huh? Uh... Usus and Fee. Why Usus and Fee? Because Fee's my favorite and I need to change Usus's thing. Does that make sense at all? Yes? No? Okay, I get it. It doesn't sound good to leave her alone. I imagine it's just... It's such a change of scenery for her that she's just walking around taking it all in. Yeah, I think you're right. I doubt she's left the academy grounds yet, though. So we should be able to find her. I'll just Lee, I'll just have to think, if I were new here, what would seem the most interesting? Then check all those places. Roger that. We really need to get her back to the dormitory at once. They're on my team, right? Very well. Okay, good. So, right now, right here and now, are you guys ready for this? Bunny ears? No. Right along. Uh. Bunny. Yay, there we go. That's what we need. Perfect. My turn. I've got this. The circle is complete. Oh, man. So besides your caramel cookie cream ice cream, uh, how's your how's how's your day going, Solen? How's life? Are you as happy as these two right now? Just having a lover's rendezvous? I love you. I love you too. I love you so much that I love you. I love you. Very slow. Hey, I'd rather a very slow day than a very fast-paced day. You know what I mean? Nothing much happened? That's good. That's a good thing. Horsies! I haven't done this in forever! Forever! Onward, mighty steed. Full speed ahead. Eeks, stop touching me there! Whoa. That voice couldn't mean anything but trouble. Hey, we found your first go. What do you know? Oh, hey everyone. What in the world are you up to? Hee <laughs> hee, it's been so long since we went horse riding in Nord, I thought I'd give it another shot. This is so fun. It's totally different than flying around on Lammy. 
Okay, can someone please control this girl? I'm really conf not confident enough to ride with someone else yet. Get off. Now. You won't get any sympathy from me if you hurt yourself. Why do you have to be so stubborn, Eusis? You, you must get that from your dad. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Like this one. And how would you know what my father's personality is like to begin with? Wow, Milliam even managed to throw uses for a loop there. Who cares? I'm on a horse now. Time for a ride! Oh, I'm doing this voice completely wrong. I'm so sorry, everyone. To the highway! Hi, yo! Horsey, away! Eek, you can't grab the reins like that. <laughs> Let's go! Horse is dead. Ah! Milliam, wait! So began Milliam's horseback adventures. She took off without the slightest concern for the worried soul she left behind. That's still wrong. What's wrong? What did I say? What happened? Uh, after riding around with terrified Paula, she came to a stop. Ah. Ah. Oh, thank Idios. That was the death! We should totally do it again sometime! Are you saying the voice is wrong? Well, I don't know how to do voices that well. Um, are you okay? I'm still breathing. Somehow. I guess you cannot ever reach the level of the game's voice acting. Of course not! I don't want to reach the level of the gaming's voice acting. I just want to play the game and live my life. I'm gonna leave that to the professionals. The voice acting gods that made this, that voice acted these people. Huh, what a foolish child. She's pretty energetic. Hopefully she'll slow down by the time we catch up to her. Time to start looking again. Oh shoot. Well, we're off again. Bye Paula. And bye Paula's horse. Da -da 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 Wait. I'll handle this. You haven't been useless in a while. I guess it's just more noticeable with Milliam, because her voice is so unique. It is very unique. Uh, where am I going? The up. Up. Up the up. Wow. Er wow, look at all our water. It's got to be refreshing. I kind of want to take a dip. Phew, we finally found you. Hello, oh, hey Rain. Hey, do you know if I get to take swimming lessons while I'm here? I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't. Has Instructor Sarah given you your school swimsuit yet? Nah, all I got today was my uniform. And this cute looking hat. She told me I'd get it tomorrow. I can't wait though. I wish I could go swimming right now. You don't know what the word lesson means, do you? <laughs> you guys think too much. Besides, all this bull talk really wants me, me, really makes me want to go over to him. Ding! Oh, I know! Uh, Milliam? Nice swimsuit. Ta-da! I can wear this! It's totally waterproof and dries in no time. Now it's no problem if I get wet. Wow. On your mark, get set, go! William, are you okay? <laughs> that was way too fun! Hop on in, the water's nice and cool! She just doesn't care, does she? I don't think the world's ready for this level of idiocy. At the very least, I'm not. We should go get her. Oh, hey, Laura. Huh? Where'd Milliam go? She timed her escape perfectly. She was headed toward the girls' locker room, so you probably just missed her. She must have run because she didn't want us to haul her back to the dorm. The hunt continues. This is an interesting group I'm with right here. Eusis and Fee acting together. Alright, we're next. Uh, the engineering building. 
Uh oh, is Fi gonna run uh Actually, why are these two sisters here? I don't trust these two together. Sorry, but I haven't seen anyone like that around, man. You never learn, do you? Just for switching my class, never can see anyone like that. I'm not going to be able to help you. Okay. They're fine, then. The sisters are fine. I want to ride the motorcycle! Wow. So this is the orb of like everyone was talking about. I want to try it! <laughs> It'll need some more fine-tuning before you'll be able to do that. You'll have the option of riding alongside me, however. I'm always willing to take a cute little ladies like you for a ride. Really? I kind of want to have a race, though. Want to see if Lammy's faster than your bike? I don't know what this Lammy is, but it takes some guts to challenge me to a race. <laughs> now I'm really starting to take a liking to you. Angelica, please. She's like three years old. It didn't take long for those two to hit it off. Those two know how to take care of others. Oh, hey there. What's up? Truth is... Boop! You guys are too persistent. I'm not gonna let you catch me, though. Our race is gonna have to wait. Huh. Very well. I look forward to seeing you around again. For sure. Catch you later. No, don't run. Wait up, Milliam. And off she goes. You could have at least pretended to try and catch her, Angelica. Reen, sweetie, surely you realize that I always side with my lovely ladies. I have to say, though, she's even more per peculiar than I heard. Yeah, I'd really like to see this Lammy she keeps talking about, too. Tell her that she's always welcome here for us, will you? Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Okay, let's go search somewhere else. Yep. So, I guess there's a Milliam X Angelica now. You know what? We're just going to do uh, Angelica X every single girl in this school. Alright, main building. To the main building! Alright, the stream is going better than I thought it would. A couple hours ago, or even a hour ago, the there was no internet here. The internet kept cutting out. So, pretty lucky today! Yeah, I can't replicate that voice. So this is Thor's military academy, huh? I think I'm gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder what the view from the rooftop's like. Huh? Don't do it. Don't you dare hmm. go that way. Uh, I should have guessed you'd be here. Hiya, guys! Nope, can't do it. Sorry. We're stuck with ordinary little girl voice for the time being. Did you come looking for me again? Don't give me that hiya, guys. Uh, we spent way too much time hunting you down. How about you stop playing around and come back to the dormitory? Sure thing! Look at those eyes. Aww. After the chase you led us on, you're just giving up that easily? Well, I've seen enough for one day. Tomorrow's a free day, so that's when I can really start exploring. And nothing was learned today. Uh, she sure is a lively girl. Yeah, let's put it like that. Alright, let's get her back to the dorm before she changes her mind. <clears throat> Agreed. You may also want to consider a leash. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And we're back. Wowzers, that was so much fun! This town's got a nice feel to it too. I think I'm gonna like it here. I think I'm gonna like it here! Oh, I wonder where I should go tomorrow! Uh, well I'm glad someone's having fun. Though maybe you could spare a thought for the people who've been running all over the school grounds looking for you. Here, here. 
Oh yeah, we should we should exchange Arcus numbers, Melium. We need to be able to reach you quickly if there's ever an emergency. Green and Usus are the dads. Very nice. But what's Fee? Who's Fee in this family of students? Sure thing. Older sister, maybe? Uh, my number is... Uh... <clears throat> Tell everyone else when you get back to the dorms, okay? Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Yay! Oh yeah. I should try calling Lecter and clear later. I bet they'll be surprised. Uh, she really does seem like a typical 13-year-old girl for the most part. Or a uh, 5-year-old girl. Older sister? Yeah, that's what I thought. I must admit, it makes for quite the effective charade. Charade. What happened What happened to that big thing of yours, anyway? There's another scene with Reen, Eusis, and Milliam. Ooh. And I just chose uh, Eusis just because they wanted his his rabbit ears changed. Huh? You mean Lammy? It's canon. Wow. It's right here. What? Come on out. What? What? Billy, don't call him out here, or you'll. Wow! What's that? It's like a huge silver doll. This is so cool. Is it yours? Awesome! He <laughs> he, he sure is, isn't he? Uh, uh, looks like we got our work cut out for us taking care of Milliam. If she's going to be living at the academy, I need to find some way to drill some common sense into her. Uh, pull the kids away. After forcing Milliam to hide the thing. Dormitory. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey Crow. Hey May Maid Lady. I forgot your welcome name. Welcome back everyone. Sharon. Hey Sharon. Just been making myself at home here. C Crow? What are you doing here? Well, I am a member of Class 7 now, so I've been given the go-ahead to move into this dorm now. What? That seems rather abrupt. But man, Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join Class 7 months ago. <laughs> you flatter me, Master Crow. Be sure to visit his room. You got it. Would you like me to bring some of the cakes I baked earlier as well? A lot every day? You got it. <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's good to be here. Mm. Looks like he's already made himself at home. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? Yep. Us newcomers have to stick together, right? I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Uh, I see. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. Ooh, man. Moving all those things really tired me out. I was hoping I could just stow all my junk in my old room, but Toa wouldn't let me. Obviously. <laughs> he must be pretty exhausted. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. We're classmates now. Just treat me like one of the gang and we're golden. You sure about that? All right, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time, though. <sighs> if you insist. <laughs> well, don't strain yourself too hard there, Blondie. I'll thank you to never call me that again. Oh, and if you guys don't mind, I want to get in on the action when you explore the old schoolhouse tomorrow. Gotta get back in the groove with my Arcus again, after all. Huh? A schoolhouse? Who'd want to go to school on their day off? Well, we've got this, uh, this special schoolhouse here. A library at the old schoolhouse. Whoa, really? That sounds kind of cool. I want to come too. Ugh, how did I know you were going to say that? Didn't I just get done telling you how dangerous it is? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. As long as I've got Lammy, it'll be easy peasy. Crow, Reen, Eusis is not a love triangle. Aw, man. Gotta throw out Eusis and find someone else then to make, complete the love triangle. And if you didn't take me with you, I'd just break down the door and come after you. 
She would, too. All right, all right. Have it your way. I'll be sure to let you and Crow know when I'm planning on heading into the old schoolhouse tomorrow. But don't just go wandering in there on your own without us, all right? Yes, sir! Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like down there! How are your eyes doing that? That's one thing I never understood. Like, you know how the eyes turn into half circles and then this? Like, how does that happen? So exciting! I might not even be able to sleep tonight! It's a labyrinth full of monsters here, not a theme park. Stupid anime! Look what happened to my eyes! <laughs> Looks like I better give my pistols a little TLC tonight. Uh-oh. Serious talk. And that concludes my overview of the next field study schedule. How are things coming along on your end, Instructor Valstein? Well, I've contacted all of the relevant authorities, and I've also considered the group placement of our two transfer students. Excellent. Then let me ask you once more. Are you both certain that you're in favor of going forward with this? Uh, I do feel like it may be a bit early for them, but I see no reason not to. As students here, they're going to have to face it sooner or later. I am in full support. Furthermore, I had already secured the Lieutenant General's permission to proceed. Very well then, we will continue as planned. This may be difficult reality for the students of Class 7 to face, but I can only hope that grappling with it now will help guide them down the right path. What's that mean? What's happening? What's going on? <gasps> Chapter 5. Signs and Omens. Oh boy! I'm ready. I'm ready for some signs and omens. Might as well check out, everyone. Oh boy is right. Uh, let me do something really quick. Okay, good. Let's go! Crow! Hello. How are you doing? I mean, uh, that's cool. Dartboard. Playing cards. Are you a gambling man? Yo, sure didn't it take long for you to pay me a visit. Who would have thought we'd end up right across the hall from each other? Huh, guess you're fated to be a part of my life, huh? <laughs> so you say. Still, it feels strange knowing you'll be living here from now on. It all happened so suddenly that it hasn't really sunk in yet. Heh, <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to hold back your joy at getting to live with a cool second year all the time. Y yeah I guess you did help me out in a big way last month down in the old schoolhouse. Though I couldn't help but notice you've got quite a collection of games here. Sure do. I brought them all over from my old dorm room. I'm not exactly smelling like a rose as far as credits go, but you've got to give yourself a break now and then, right? Bloop. Wise words. Though in your case, I get the impression you've, you're never all that busy to begin with. Anyway, we're classmates and dorm buds now, so be sure to keep it casual between us. I'm sure you'll get used to it soon enough. Ha <laughs> ha, I'll try at least. I wonder if since these two are joining, will we have more people joining? Maybe a third new person? Maybe the legendary, I don't know. Tomorrow's the big day. We'll have our performance at the church. Uh, just thinking about it is giving me butterflies in my stomach. Not sure what my schedule is going to be like tomorrow, but I'll definitely come see you if I have time. Thanks, it'll be great to have you there cheering me on. I'm helping fill in for Hebel, so he's counting on me too. Okay. Sounds good. He likes guns. Maybe Tita! I hope so. That would be the best thing in the world. The very fate of the chess club rides on tomorrow's match. I'll have to use every spare minute between now and then to sharpen my skills. Well, you're really fired up about this. Good luck, Machias. Thanks. Good luck, my dude. Hello, Usus. Heh. <laughs> hey there, Usus. What's that you're reading? Oh, it's just you. Don't surprise me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is that a letter from your brother? Not quite. It's nothing terribly important. 
It dawns on me now that tomorrow will be our first free day since Crow and Milliam joined the class. You'll have to watch Milliam like a hawk to ensure she doesn't stir up any trouble. Wait, why is that my responsibility? It just is, Reen. Deal with it. Do we have to talk to everyone? Haha, <laughs> the dorm's bound to become a lot more lively now that Crow and Milliam are living with us. I can't help but wonder what sort of wind those two will blow into our class. I suppose only the goddess herself knows. Let's hope it's a good one. I hope so too, Mr. Gaius. Up here we have four more rooms. There's Fee's room. What are you looking at, Fee? Are you looking at some shoes? Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. I wonder which ones I should wear tomorrow. Hmm, I guess the Stregas will do. Easy to move around in. Isn't Strega a classic shoe brand? Haha, <laughs> I never knew you were so discerning about your shoes. I guess. I'm gonna get what I want. I've got lacrosse practice tomorrow, but this is not one I'm looking forward to. All because Ferris refuses to stop pestering me about competing with her. Uh, I wish she'd just stop. I almost forgot you were a member of this team. I forgot a lot of people were members of this team. You, I know. It may be incredibly hot, but on the bright side, the swimming club is that much more of a refreshing experience. Especially now that Monica has been improving her times by leaps and bounds. I should learn from her example and keep improving myself every day. And no one's here. Flowers. Uh, was there... Did I go in here yet? Yeah, that's Fee. Fee in her shoes. Hey, Milliam. Oh, wow. Look at your place. Little Picards, and there's the cat. More cats. Little whatever those are. Oh, look at that! That's the thing that's on my arm. What even is it? Penguin. Penguini. Doggy thing. I like this room. Hey, Reen, what's up? I got my room all nice and tiny now. Wow, this is pretty cute now that it's all fixed up. Even You e even got dolls in here and everything. Hehe, <laughs> I know, right? I just wish I wasn't allowed I was allowed to bring Lammy out in the dorm. He'd really tie the place together. It's from another game? I see. By Falcom, not sure which. Oh, we gotta find what this game is. Old building, big trouble. No, don't do that. We gotta find what this game is so I can play as whoever that is. As green, purple haired, or no, pink haired chick. With gears in her hair. Alright, I'm done. Let's go. Should I call it a day? Uh, yes. Guys ready? You guys ready? If I ever find a way to play Persona 4, I will. Don't worry. Thor's Seven Mysteries, Side by Sidecar, Old Schoolhouse Mystery 5! Lately the other girls have been doing, going on, about the seven mysteries of the Academy. I desire this grim knowledge. If you do, visit the Occult Research Society Club Room in the Student Union Building. Barrel, you're one class three. Great, creepy girl is requesting a thing. We've added a new feature to the bike, and we want you to give it a test run. Come see us in the engineering building when you're ready to ride. Bye, those two. And yeah, does anyone in Class 7 actually read these? If I wrote whatever I wanted here, would they investigate the old schoolhouse regardless? Perhaps I should use this opportunity to tell a joke. I know just the one. Two men walk into a bar. Instructor Nayan Hart and Thomas. Perhaps one says to the, uh, to the other, 
Oh, blast it. I'm out of room. Principal Van Dyke. Okay. Okay. Looks like there's quite a few today. Tala seems pretty swamped when I saw her, too. Not sure what is in that's keeping her so busy, but I want to do what I can to lighten the burden. And then there's the old schoolhouse, too. I'll have to free up some time for that. Then there's that. Reveal. I guess we'll just have to see what we turn up this month. I promised to tell Crow and Milliam one when I was going, so I'll have to give them a call when I'm ready to head in. Oh, are you leaving early today? Yep, I am. Yeah, I was just about to head out. Hee <laughs> hee, do take care then. The sky is looking a little ominous today, so I suggest taking an umbrella. You sure? It seems like another boiling summer day to me. Perhaps it is right now, but I have a hunch it won't last the day. Either way, I'll pray you have another fruitful day. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. I'll see you later, then. Oh, I got a thing. Uh, equip. I want to see. Oh, it's just the class uniform. What did I get? I don't even know what I got. Also, what does she have? Do Thor 7 Mystery inside sidecar and then you will get another crest. Don't worry. Don't worry, I know. I'm gonna do these quests. It's gonna be great. And I'm gonna win. Can I equip now? Aw, I can't equip the... I wanna give... I wanna give her the, 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 the cat ears. Oh, I will. She'll be getting cat ears. I don't care what anyone says. What a lovely day it is today. Today's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. Heart event with Elliot, Crow, uh, Gaius, and Eusus. I kind of want to do... Oh, and Milliam as well. I definitely want to do Milliam. I said that horribly. I definitely want to check out Milliam. Wait, no, that's not right, too. Gah! Last month's summer festival was so much fun. We went to mass at the cathedral and even got to wave at Princess Elfin and everyone else during the parade. You can treasure memories like that for a lifetime. Aww. Those two had a fun time at the place, I guess. There's also a crow event. Yeah, I know. We'll see if I do it or not. It all depends on how much I want to see Elliot's recital thing or whatever. Uh, kitty ears. Oh! Gosh darn it. You know what will happen if I don't do it? Why, what's gonna happen? Something bad's gonna happen with Crow? Crow's gonna die! No one really here. Also guys, do you remember what time it is, right? This is the... the chill out section of the stream. The section where... I... just explore. You'll leave forever. No, don't do that. But I also... Joke? You're joking? I take jokes very seriously in that chat room. Prepare to be banned. I'm good. You're good. Also, these shoes cost $300. These shoes cost $300. Let's get them. JK, let's go. Uh, hey, Yusis, sorry, but you being here might be a little boring, so I don't think I'll do your thing. Sorry, sorry, dude. You're in a, just a place, you know? What's, what's, what are you gonna do here? Nothing. You're not gonna do anything here. Can we ever, no, we, that's a flower place. We can't go in there. <gasps> Maybe there's new books. Ah, oh, new books. Uh, shop. 
Uh, Chronicle. Nope, I have that. Ascents of Lacrosse. I always wanted to learn about lacrosse. And instruments, and court fencing, and coffee! Oh, darn it. I can't get more coffee. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's visit the cathedral. Oh wow, hello. I, er, uh, hey, I almost forgot that about that performance thing today. Can't miss out on a chance to spend time with Rosine. <laughs> I gotta get some good seats for us. Who's Rosine again? Well, good luck, kiddo. Oh boy. Yep, Elliot's. Elliot's here. His thing's gonna happen today. Hey, Mint, how you doing? Oh, no, 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 here comes the nerves! Okay, Mint, deep breaths. Don't let your fear of failure make you fall. Fail. No, don't worry as long as I normally do. Balan pulls in the thing. Oh, yeah, his arm is broken. Well, why is Kay, well, what's Kay doing here? He's walking around all restlessly, too. This is the last place I thought I'd ever see him. Something's definitely up here. What does that mean? Who's Kay? That kid? And he won't stop blathering on about wanting to see this performance. I don't exactly have a busy schedule, though, so it's not much of an issue. It'll be a while since I was here la last year, actually. Maybe I'll take the time to ask Ideos to help my parents make up. <gasps> Did they break up? Oh, I knew it would happen. Hey, hey, I can't wait for this performance. I knew Amir would bring me if I kept bugging him about it. And what do you think? You'll never guess what happened. I went over to Annie's and she said she was going to go see a performance. I ended up coming with her too. Well, good for you. Okay, Reed, you made it. Hey, Elliot, you're looking kind of nervous. Ha ha ha. Is it that easy to tell? There's quite a few people here, so I can't really help it. Especially since I'm the lead violinist now because of Hebel's accident. I can totally understand why you're nervous then. Good luck! Thanks! I'd probably be glad if I stayed. How many bonding points? I have four! Oh, I have plenty of time then. I can do Crow's thing and Elliot's thing. That's awesome! That's what I'm gonna do then. Crow and Elliot will both, and Milliam, we're, we'll all, we will uh, see all of their bonding events. Not Eusis, though. Sorry, Eusis, but, you know, you know how it is. Uh, no, not talk. I want to see what you have. No. Bye. Uh, coffee, coffee, pizza, pizza! Pizza! And roasted coffee. Boiled coffee, fried coffee. Yeah, all good, man. All good. Uh, let's go to the school building. I want to see what other heart events there are in the school building. Alright, uh, this is not where I wanted to go. Hey, Crow, how you doing? I want to see if this couple over here is just, like, they're gonna do it. They're breaking up. They're out. They're done. Oh my. Good afternoon. It's rather warm today, isn't it? Hee hee hee. Of course that's not an issue for me, since I'm never doing any more chores. Instead, I'm boldly pioneering the revolutionary new cocktail. Cocktail diet. What does that mean? The children are away too, so I have a the luxury of kicking back today. Cool. Where's the husband? Husband's gone. Husband's gone, guys. Husband ran away. Whoops, uh anyone down here? Nope. Okay. Let's go! No, stop it. Let's go! Stop it, let's go! I want to see the the wonders thing first before I do any heart events or whatever. Uh, Tawa. Oh, not Tawa. Emma, Elise. I think that's her name. I forgot. And Laura. Oh man, so many heart events to do today. I gotta think of one more person to do it with. 
right, let's see what the first floor is like. Anyone dying today in the infirmary? I don't think so. Yep, everyone's fine. Everyone is healthy. Here's the facility lounge. Sarah's there. Come on, get, get out. There's that guy. Principal's office. Principal's there. Let's see what the up here is like. Oh, uh, hey, there you are, Mr. Psychopath Worker. Eh, I've been working like crazy since last night, and I just can't stop. Anything I lay my hands on is transformed into a beautiful piece of art. You and Beryl are a little bit crazy. And the girl in the lit in the lit lit literature club. Homek is still as boring as ever. The music room, no one's there. There's this section, but no one's there anyway. The doors are all locked. Anyone on the roof? There's one person. Hey, it's Fee. Hmm, I wanted to cool off here, but it looks like it's gonna rain. What a drag. Really? But it's sunny out right now. Just a feeling I have. Sharon said the same thing when I was headed, headed, heading out, but now that I think about it... Yeah, Selene, do you see over there? Do you see that cloud? That's a rain cloud there. Alright, let's go... Let's go... Out of here. This morning the school was quick today. I'll probably skip the library, and I'm just gonna go right to the this place. No one there. Any new stuff here? No, no, stop, 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 stop. Any new weapons? Breaker arm. I wish I knew, like what, cl like what weapons and stuff are new and what aren't. You know what I mean? Wait, can I exchange? Yeah, get some monies. There we go. Kill. Alright, let's go see Barrel and see what crazy thing we're doing today. Where's Tawa? I said that Tawa was here, I guess not. Oh well. Hello! Hehe. <laughs> Welcome to the Occult Research Society. What kind of fortune would you like me to tell you today? For you today, Reen of Class 7. Health, romance, I can even give life advice if that's what you wish. Sorry, I'm not actually here to get my fortune told. Hehe, <laughs> don't worry. I'm well aware of that. You were sent by the student council, weren't you? You could have at least played along a little. You're not, though. You're not much fun. I'm kind of fun. Beryl's a strange one, all right. She's got quite the reputation amongst the girls as an uncannily accurate fortune teller, though. Hehe. <laughs> There's something you'd like to ask me, is it not? Answer um, answers are merely a question away. Do you wish to know what kinds of rituals and curses are my favorites, perhaps? That's probably the kind of thing I'd better off not knowing, thanks. Wait. She didn't just read my mind, didn't she? Haha, <laughs> nah, she couldn't have. Hehehe. <laughs> so I assume you've been informed about what I want you to do. Yeah, you want me to look into the Seven Academy Seven Mysteries, right? Precisely. The sooner you start investigating, the better. Are you ready to begin? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'm ready when you are. I know a lot of schools across the country have mysteries like these. But I didn't know that Thor's had a set all on its own. Hehe. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could give you the good news. They've become a hot topic among some of the girls recently. Huh? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have guessed that. But you said that you wanted me to look into the seven mysteries. Does that mean you don't know what all of them are, and you want me to find out what you don't know about? No, I know the basics of each mystery already. What I'd like to ask you to do is to investigate how credible each one is. I see. Is that something I'll really be able to investigate, though? I mean, if they're supernatural. 
You can just think of that as part of your investigation. If you can't come to any conclusions, so be it. Either way, to be more specific, I'd like you to talk to the people most likely to know something about each mystery. I could do it myself, but I'm not exactly what you would call a people person. <laughs> R right, okay. I think I get what you want me to do now. Can you give me a head start by telling me what you know about each of the seven mysteries, though? Hmm. I think if I told you everything at once, it might be so much horror to take in that it would stop your heart. So ask me about them one by one, and I'll tell you what I, what I want to know about each. That sounds like a good way to do it. Alright, leave the investigation to me. Heh <laughs> heh, thank you. I look forward to hearing what you discover. Oh boy, what's this quest gonna be like? Do you wish to hear about the Academy Seven Mysteries? Uh, yep. Alright. Steal myself for a long... Uh, long... thing to read or whatever. I'm ready. Ah, the first mystery. The crying sculpture. The sculpture in question rests in the art room. It used, it's used as a reference for sketches. However, if you dare draw near, you can see tear tracks running down its face. Whoa. What's more, the tears return after wiping them away. Rumor has it that the tears originate from a human head contained within. Okay, I was on board up until then. That's a little too extreme to believe. Hehe, <laughs> you think so too? Even so, these sorts of stories always contain some kernel of truth. Perhaps speaking to the head of the art club will allow you to find it. Alright, next. The second mystery is that of the haunted piano. Last late one night, a student walking by the music room heard someone playing the piano. Drawn by the sound, she took a peek into the room, only to find it empty. Well, the name certainly fits. They claim it's a music-loving ghost playing the piano in there. Uh-huh. A ghost who likes music, that's all. She was a bit lazy to me. Agreed. At least give the ghost some elaborate tragic backstory to explain its connection to the piano. Regardless, perhaps you could learn more from the head of the wind orchestra. I believe his name was Hebel? Alright. But thirdly, we have the mystery of the forbidden tomb. Now this one is interesting. Apparently the Academy's library houses a book containing one of the world's greatest secrets. The book is passed down from one library to head let one library head to the next, all of whom are tasked with keeping it safe from prying eyes. You aren't kidding. This one is pretty interesting. Heh <laughs> It pleases me to know that I have a partner in fantasation. Just imagine if it were something about the fall of the ancient Zamurian civilization. Heh <laughs> How romantic. A person currently in charge of the library is Instructor Thomas. He's likely to be- he's likely the only person who knows for sure. All right. The fourth mystery tells of the Hidden Graves. This legend dates back 250 years. It's said that many who died in the War of the Lions lie buried beneath this academy. More specifically, their bodies are buried directly below what is now the field. What? Whoa, is there more to this story? Oh, there most certainly is. They say that on some cursed night, the corpses of the buried rise from their graves to bathe them to the bathe in the moonlight. And when they do, their long hidden graves surface from the field, overturning it and leaving holes. Well, that explains why this mystery is called the hidden graves at least. But honestly, I was a little I was kind of expecting the mystery to be a little creepier. Hehe, <laughs> you must be getting used to these macabre mysteries. Good. Wait, what do you mean by good? Hehe. <laughs> Regardless, the best people to ask about the field would be the members of the riding club. I believe the club's Captain Lambert is home for the summer. Perhaps you should ask Paula instead. Oh, this is gonna be a long quest, guys. The sports club the sports club's grudge is the topic of the fifth mystery. Given how hard the sports club train, it's not uncommon to hear screaming coming from their general direction. But some say that screams can be heard coming from something else, dwelling in the gymnasium. The rumors say that those screams are a grudge of sorts, a manifestation of all the stresses sports club members face. 
This one seems a bit backwards to me. Working up a sweat should wash away your stresses, not make a monster out of them. Heh <laughs> heh, only a select few would share that sentiment. Such ignorance of others' feelings might just lead you to an unfortunate end. R right No matter. It may be wise to ask the captain of the fencing club for further details on this mystery. I think her name is Friedel. Alright, two more guys, two more. Oh my, the Sixmith's mystery surrounds the Crimson Devil of Lake Hell. Have you paid much mind to the pond behind the gymnasium? Some say that it has a direct connection to Hell itself. More amazingly, they say a resident of Hell, the Crimson Devil, shows up at the pond from time to time. Well, that's certainly... something. Any word on what it looks like? Sadly, the only descriptor I've heard is that it has two massive claws. It might be best to ask someone who fishes there often if you wish to know more about this mystery. Do you know Kenneth? He's the first year in the Imperial Fishing Club. He's a noble, though. He never acts as though he's not. Nevertheless, he is... the club's head. Perhaps he knows something. And finally, the most scariest one of all, the seventh and final mystery is that of the poltergeist in the upper class dormitory. To be frank, I have very little information about this one, but it seems as though furniture, cutlery, and the like are often found broken in the upper class dormitory. And people are saying a poltergeist is responsible? So it seems. Considering the mess it seems to be making, I can only imagine that the dormitory's maids would know something. Perhaps you should ask them for information. Oh my gosh, you guys. What a crazy mission this is going to turn out to be. Alright, what are you up to? I need to talk to you first. Emma's taking her sweet time getting here, isn't she? Even brought along a less explicit book to share with her. Oh well, I suppose I'll just enjoy it myself while I wait for her. Okay, goodbye, see you later. I think the first uh, mystery is in the salon, right? Yeah, I think it is. God! Darn it. Oh well, I'll get in there someday. So, let's check the thing. Not that thing. Uh, notes. Uh. Monsters! No, not that. Um, um go back. Quest. Chapter 5. So... Let's do this one by one. The first mystery is the Crying Sculpture, Art Club... Okay. Art Club it is. Are you ready, guys? Is everyone ready? For the mysteries of the clubs and the stuff? Because I know I am. Art Room, Chapel, Library, Academy, Field, Genesium, Pond, Upper Class, Dorm. Thanks, Alan. That'll help me. That'll help me a lot. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is this one a good uh, mission, by the way, Selen? Are you in favor of this mission, or do you not like it at all? Hey, you. What's up? Tell me about your mystery or whatever. I'm pretty sure this girl's the head of the art club. Excuse me, could I have a minute of your time? This quest has a lot of walking, but you kinda like it. Question mark. No, I'm busy. But my ears work, so I can listen to whatever you have to say. Go ahead, state your business. Uh, okay. I guess she's going to keep working while I talk. That's pretty impressive. I'm actually looking into the Academy Seven Mysteries, one of which is this art room's crying sculpture. You wouldn't happen to know anything about... Condensation. Sorry? Like I said, it's condensation. You have no idea how many people have come in to ask about that. There's no- they're not tears. Just condensation. Water- Vapor in the air, if big words scare you. Who in their right mind would actually believe the sculpture could cry? Guess the world is will never run out of idiots. I- I see. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Thank you for the information. It was nothing. So... Is that it? I guess that's it. Is this the statue? I bet this is the statue. I don't know, it's not really textured properly. <gasps> Maybe this is the statue. Alright, who cares? You know what? Who cares? 
So, Chapel is next. Da -da 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 -da. I gotta run fast, gotta run fast. Run, 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 run. Uh, where's the exit? There's the exit. Chapel means church, right? So we're going to the church. Sorry, Elliot. Your band practice will have to wait. There's a ghost or whatever. Alright, where is... What's his name? There you are, Mr. Broken Arm. I think this is Hebel from the Wind Orchestra. Oh, hey, what's up? I have a quick question for you. I'm trying to investigate the seven mysteries of the Academy. What have you heard about the haunted piano? Oh, that story. That's one about the ghost playing the piano in an empty room, isn't it? Oh, so you do know it. <clears throat> Excuse me. What can you tell me about it? <laughs> so you want to know the truth, huh? As it turns out, the ghost was me all along. Whoa, whoa really? Okay, calm down. I didn't mean that I'm actually a ghost. <laughs> the rumor started spreading because someone heard noises in what they thought was an empty room. But, I'm pretty sure they just stumbled along while I was tuning the piano. Really? Yeah, it's not exactly rare to end up totally obscured from view when you're turning certain parts of it. Chances are that whoever heard that at the time just couldn't see me. So basically, I'm your so-called ghost. Haha, <laughs> that makes sense. Right? Sorry though, you were probably hoping for something a bit more exciting. Not at all. Haha, <laughs> you told me just what I needed to hear. Beryl might not be thrilled though. Thanks for your time. Not a problem. Alright, second uh, thing is solved. Library is next. The book that has all the secrets and stuff. What are you doing here? I decided to come to the concert since Bridget was going to be performing in it. No reason to hang around the club if I can't focus on what I'm doing, right? Right, let's take a peek. Nope, goodbye. Take care. Library is in a this way direction. All right, who are we talking? There you are. Hey yo, <clears throat> Reen, my boy. What sorts of questions have has your inquiring mind come up with today? As it happens, I'm looking into something for a fellow student. Do you know anything about a forbidden tomb, supposedly locked away in this library? A forbidden tomb? My, what a fascinating idea. Just imagine if it contained details on the sacraments of the ancient Sumerian civilization. Or perhaps it could be a grimoire written by the cross Balin alchemists of the Middle Ages. Wouldn't it be thrilling if one really existed? Y yeah, it sure would. In other words, he... it doesn't. But what exactly inspired you to ask about this imaginary tomb? Well, I'm investigating the seven mysteries of the Academy and one of them has to do with a book full of the world's greatest secrets, hidden deep within this library. Ah, so that's what this is all about. This year's story is even more absurd than the one I heard last year, but I do believe I know what you're talking about. Y you do? The tomb of the tomb the story refers to is the fact, is in fact a volume of, how should I put this? Gentlemen's Special Interest Literature. <laughs> nope. Seriously. At least the forbidden part is right. Not because it's dangerous or anything, but because it's rather naughty. We tell you boys time after time not to bring those sorts of things into the academy, but somebody always has to try. Well, boys will be boys, I suppose. This little tale started because we gather the contraband here before we dispose of it. Well, that's one way to do things. So if you happen to have a prize collection of your own, make sure to leave it under your mattress back home. Unless you want me to find it and share what you're into with Instructor Sarah and the rest of the facility. I have no idea what you're talking about. Haha, <laughs> well anyway, there's nothing especially unusual or mysterious about this library, I'm afraid. You have made that abundantly clear. Thank you for your time, Instructor. I'm curious about something. Can I see behind his glasses at all. Oh, his eyes are closed. Very clever, Mr. Mr. Dude, Mr. Glasses. Uh, Academy Field is next. Here we go. Let's get there a little bit faster. 
Uh, there we go. Here we are, just like that. Paula! You're Reed from Eusis' class, right? That's right, and you're Paula from class 5, I assume. This might sound weird, but I'm currently looking into these mysteries surrounding the school. Have you heard the rumor they're calling the Hidden Graves? I have. They're the ones about the dead rising from their graves on the field, right? Lambert and I found a hole on the field a while back, but the only thing to come out of that was an exam with a bad grade. So seriously? Yep, seems like someone couldn't deal with getting a score that bad, so they tried to put their test six ringe other. They didn't even bury it, though. Just dug a hole and tossed it in. We filled it up since someone could have tripped. But with a grade like that, you could say the only grave our culprit dug was his own. Yeah, that joke was so bad I can't even force myself to laugh. That aside, thanks for the info. That was a big help. Oh boy. Ho 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 ho. Oh, puns and jokes and stuff. Hey guys, everyone in chat right now, I have a, a test for you, or a request or whatever. Tell me your best joke. What is the best joke you guys have ever heard? Uh, where am I? Emma's there. Hey, Emma! Oh, what are these people up to? Oh, my... Oh, my and mercy me. Did you clone yourself, Vivi? How wonderful. Now we can work twice as efficiently. Fake Vivi can tend to that flower bed over there, and real Vivi can be ready... can be in charge of getting the equipment ready. Oh, she's good. <laughs> oh, they're both... One of them got their braids out, so they both look the same. You don't have jokes, you're very unfunny. Well, don't worry, I'm in the same boat as you. I just have to try and be as charming as I can instead. There we go. Hey, you. Stop killing that guy and talk to me. I think she's the captain of the fencing club, right? A girl? I'm joking. Girls are amazing. Sorry to bother you, but could I ask you a question? No bother at all. Ask away. As it so happens, I'm looking into the seven mysteries of the Academy. Have you ever heard of the Sports Club Grunge? Oh, sure. People have been talking about it since I was a first year. Although I don't suppose it will gain much traction next year. Why's that? It's pretty simple, really. Those screams don't come from people, but the door that used to be here. It has been in bad condition for years and used to make these awful screeching noises. So I asked for a replacement at the beginning of the month. Now everything is nice and quiet around here. Well, that explains that. Thanks for the information. Hee <laughs> hee, you're very welcome. Oh well, there we go. Another quest done. Uh, pond. Pond is next. And luckily for me, I saw the pond close by here. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey yo, how you doing? Oh, looks like you've become a brown angler. That's proof you've been really racking up the catches. I think you've got the potential to go pretty far. Yeah, about that. I really don't get what these titles mean. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh yeah, now that you're a brown angler, you can trade your points for some new stuff. There's even a new fishing rod available this time, so get fishing for more points. Fine by me. I think this is not even based on the thing. It's everyone's favorite, uh, part of the stream. <gasps> the fishing! Woo! Uh, ar -ar 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 -ar. Oh no, not this one again. I, I remember this one. This one was so hard. Come on, up here! Up here faster! Come on, up here faster! Oh my gosh, 
that was crazy. And here's my number. So, never mind. Tell me about this thing, by the way. Hey, Irene, still fishing the good fish? I don't think that's how the saying goes, but I guess you could say that. There's actually something I was hoping to ask you about. Does the Crimson Devil of Lake Hell ring any bells? That's one of the Academy's seven big mysteries, right? It's the only one I know, at least. Seriously, though, did anyone really believe this place was connected to Hell? Uh, ha, probably not. Any idea what the Crimson Devil part's all about, though? That's probably a crayfish. You see them around here every so often. That must be it. What's a crayfish? Are you kidding me, Rain? You don't know what a crayfish is. Red thing kind of looks like a crab. Even has two big claws, just like that devil's supposed to. I wouldn't be surprised if a crayfish inspired the whole thing. Yeah, especially when you put it like that. Thanks, Kenneth. What the heck, guys? How does Reen not know what a crayfish is? <gasps> Deluxe Rod! Oh my gosh. Definitely. Tear, Terra, EP, EP, Swordtail Badge, Carp Badge, Mute, and that. Let's get the Carp Badge. Carp Badge might be helpful. Uh, let's not equip it to anyone yet. Alright, time to go. Last spot is the Upper Class Dorm. This quest went on much longer than I thought it did. But you know what? We got to explore, we got to see some of our classmates in action. It was great. It was fun. I just hope we don't have to explain each and every one of the things now. I can't think of a better person to ask about the upper class storm. Excuse me, would you mind if I asked you a question? Of course not. How can I help you? So I'm investigating the seven mysteries of the academy? There's one story about a poltergeist in the storm, but would you know if there's any truth to that? <laughs> I do, in fact. Some of the more experienced maids told me all about it. I've even seen it for myself. You've actually seen the poltergeist? Oh, not, not quite. There was a much simpler explanation behind all the havoc. As the story goes, plates are broken and utensils strewn about the kitchen, correct? But the things happen when girls try their hands at cooking for the first time. The kitchen can get very chaotic. This tends to hit its peak in May when most of them, more of them, want to practice for their cooking classes. But I think a poltergeist makes for a far more interesting culprit when people are sharing stories. Ah, uh, that explains it. Thanks for clearing everything up. I'm so glad I could be of help. And that's the seventh mystery eludicated. In the end, none of them turned out as spooky as I'd hoped, but oh well. I hope Beryl won't be too disappointed. Ah, uh, you know she will be. Hopefully there's nothing else I need to do in this quest. Anyway, time to disappoint Beryl for a little bit. Beryl! Hello! Where are you? I'm gonna sneak back here. Wee oui, wee, oui, there's the chef. Wee oui, wee! Oui. Alright, let's go. Come on, go up! Go up! Alright, uh, wrong room. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we are. Hey, Beryl, how you doing? Hehe, <laughs> it looks like you finished your investigation. Can you tell me what you've learned? Sure, let me go through them one by one. I told the truth about each and every one. I see. Condensation magazines, a test. None of these are supernatural at all. I honestly didn't expect any of them to be real, but the truth is even more pathetic than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I agree. Although it's kind of interesting that people were able to make such fantastical stories out of perfectly ordinary things. Hehe, <laughs> I suppose that's true. Still, I'd like to thank you, thank you, for looking into everything for me. So here you go. It's something hexed with one of my favorite curses. But thanks. 
To tell you the truth, I'm a little surprised that none of the mysteries had anything to do with the old schoolhouse. It seems like the perfect setting for a good ghost story. I wonder why it didn't come up. I mean, we have already know there are strange monsters in there. Heh <laughs> heh, what are you talking about? Of course it comes up. In the real seven mysteries, at least. Gosh darn it. What? Could you say that again? I couldn't quite make that out. Heh <laughs> heh, I didn't say a word. Perhaps your investigation has gotten to you. I could have sworn I heard her say something about the real seven mysteries. Oh well, it's probably a better idea not to get into it. Oh boy, the seven fake mysteries. Ain't that awesome, guys? Oh, Tao is in the engineering building, okay. Speaking of engineering building, let's go there! Hey yo! Let me save it first. Well, here you are! Irene, thanks for coming! Oh, hey Toa, what brings you here? I needed a little break from work, so I came along to help George and Angie. We asked her to come and help you out with the, re with the request we sent you. Oh, so she's working on the bike too? Yep, the request is pretty much the same as last time, but with one key difference. This time we'd like you to ride with Tawa at your side. By my side? Do you... don't you mean behind me? Haha, <laughs> maybe it would be easier to just show you what we're talking about. I believe it's time for the grand reveal. Whoa, it's a side thing! Wow! Impressive, isn't it? We call this the sidecar. Much like the bike itself, this was a Roar Institute of Technology prototype that George put the finishing touches on. One, two, three, sidecar! Exactly, Selen. Uh, you could probably tell, but the sidecar lets other people ride along with you. Though it's much easier to be to riding in an orbital car than it is being on a second bike. That's probably pretty interesting. So you want me to do a test ride with Tawas while Tawas sits in the sidecar? Yep. That means I'm in your care, Reen. Try not to crash or anything. R right. I'll make sure everything goes smoothly and safely. Oh, don't worry about that. George and I have already done all the necessary safety tests. The goal of this test is to get a fresh perspective, just like last time. That's right. Be sure to give us as much feedback as you can. That goes for you too, Tawa. Okay. So you do have the time to go for a ride? Hmm. Sorry, Reen. I'm always keeping you so busy. Oh, don't worry about it. How about you, though? Do you have time? You seemed pretty busy yesterday. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks for worrying. But I'm fine. I got most of the harder work sorted out yesterday. Which means I've got time to spare today. As you can see, George and I are ready to go whenever you are. We'll work with your schedule. We'll work to your schedule today. Thank you. Well then, let's go! Why don't we get started right away? Great, let's get everything set up then. We're doing this on the nearby highway, aren't we? Yep, same one we tested the bike on last time. The Endless Highway. Goodness gracious, I'm ready for fun. So how does it feel to be in the sidecar, Tawa? Hee <laughs> hee, it's exciting, but I'm a little nervous too. Knowing Reen will be driving puts me at ease though. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Oh Tawa, please don't say things that will make me envious like that. Now I have no choice but to send Reen home and ride with you myself. Sorry to cut you short there, Angie, but I can't let you do that. Remember, we chose these two for a reason. Ugh. Same test as last time, right? Starting to ride, shifting gears, and coming to a stop? Oh, I know what Selene's doing. Okay. Does the sidecar change things at all? Ahem. Actually, yes. The main changes are the increase in weight and the different center of gravity. Those two things will have a huge impact on how the right bike operates. I'd recommend you approach this as a whole new experience, because it's definitely going to feel like one. I never would have guessed. Okay, what will I have to do? Basically, when the sidecar is attached, you end up veering off toward its direction while you're accelerating. By the same token, 
When you're slowing down, you'll end up veering off in the opposite direction, which changes things a little for your tests. Starting to move will pull the handlebar to the left, so make sure to turn it slightly right in advance to compensate. Next up, when you're shifting gears, you'll need to turn the handlebar slightly to the left when you disengage the clutch. The same goes for bringing her to a stop, but the extra weight means she's going to be harder to slow down, so be sure to hit the brakes earlier than you did last time. Will do. It's like a whole different set of rules. It really is, but you should be fine if you pay attention to what you're doing. My advice for you, Tawa, is to believe in Reen and focus entirely at it on enjoying yourself. I think you'll have a wonderful time if, if you do. Seconded. That should help motivate Reen, too. How so? Well, think about it. I'll be happy knowing you're having fun, and I won't want to make any mistakes and ruin that. Aw, that's so sweet. Well then, here's hoping this will be fun for both of us. That's the hope. Here we go. Another fun ride. Alright, I'm going to start up the engine now. Woohoo! <laughs> this is all so exciting! Okay, get ready. Angelica said I should turn the handlebar a bit when I start moving, didn't she? Uh, one. Here we go. Phew, glad I didn't mess that up. Yeah, that was really smooth. Ichi Nissan, don't worry, I know. And off they go. Yeah, should be fun to talk to them when they get back. No, 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 strays. One, two, three. So how is it? Does it feel different from when you rode alone? It definitely does. Angelica was right when she said it would handle di completely differently. And that's not the only thing. Oh, what else is there? Oh, uh, nothing. I was thinking of something else. I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't tell her that the excitement of riding is with her is the bigger hurdle than the sidecar. Okay, I think we're both used to the speed by now. Are you ready to go a bit faster? Sure! Right then, let's switch gears. Which way did I have to turn the handlebar while switching again? Uh, how about... That one. I need to disengage the clutch and then turn the uh, handlebar slight to the left, opposite of when the way we drove off. Whee! Did you know that if I kept driving like this, I'll still never be able to reach that castle thing over there? Did you know that? Perfect. Well, look at you. That went well. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Don't be silly. All I'm doing is sitting here. Normally they'd be screaming at each other, but I'm not gonna scream. This really does feel nice, doesn't it? The view from here is great, too! It's a much more refreshing experience than I expected it would be! Have you, having you here with... <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Having you here with me makes it a lot more fun, too. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, oh, thanks. Am I sure that I'm not gonna run into the building? I don't know, I could wait. Could you imagine if that was true and I just glitch into the building and keep driving into the void? Okay then, I guess we're about done. It's almost time for us to turn back, so I'm going to slow down a bit. Okie dokie, sounds like it's time for the final test. The Chalaka said that the extra way, okay, okay, okay. Uh, da, 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 ba, 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 do, three. It takes longer for it to come to a stop with the extra weight, so I should put, put, the, put the brakes on earlier than usual. There we go. We stopped in just the right spot. I knew you could do it. Thank you, Reed. I had so much fun, and we still have the journey back to look forward to. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Why don't we take a little break before we go back then? Sounds good to me. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, okay, good. 
<laughs> it seems like things went very well for the both of you. I'm impressed that you could handle her so well, with such different hand hardware than the last time you rode. Please, I'm blushing here. We really appreciate your help too, Tawa. You ended up having a really good time, didn't you? I did. It was a lot easier to just sit back and enjoy myself than I thought. Of course, that's all thanks to Reen. <laughs> Not at all. The fact that you trusted me, in me, and were able to, to enjoy yourself kept me focused on doing a good job. Well, I always trust in you, so today wasn't anything special. It's nice to hear you say that, though. Mm, it tears at my soul to say it, but the two of you make, a, make for a good pair. I was about to say the same thing. Well then, that finishes up the test. Let's head back to the engineering building. I did it. We did it, guys. We did it. Thank you both for all of the great data. Your feedback should come in handy when I'm tuning the thing. Always glad to help. You're planning on entering that data into the computer, right? Would you like me to help you organize that, all of it? Really? That'd be a big help, but... Are you sure you have the time? Aren't you busy with your preparations for the trade conference? Wait, Tao was going to the trade conference? Ah, right. I haven't told you yet, have I? The truth is, the Imperial government requested I go along and to help out the mayors, the major players. As such, I'll be heading to Crossbell for the trade conference as an assistant to the Entourage. The Entourage attends to the Empire's representative during the meeting, right? And you're assisting them? Yeah, it'll mainly involve helping out with the paperwork and scheduling, I'd imagine. I don't think I'd be, I'll be much help, to be honest, but the government did ask. Tao has received a ton of job offers from all over the country lately. Everyone's just waiting on her to graduate. The trade conference invited invite is the government's attempts to sweeten the deal. Unbelievable. Does that mean you're planning on moving into government work instead of the military? Oh, I still haven't decided yet. I'm kind of doing this just to broaden my horizons. And apparently, all of this is because of the trouble on Heimdaller last month. The government took a real interest in how quickly and effic efficiently she evacu evacuated all of the other citizens. That explains it. <laughs> I'd say Class 7 ended up, ended up doing a lot more than I ever could have. I even had help from Angie and Crow, too. Even then, it was thanks to your instructions that we were able to split up and handle everything so efficiently. If you did decide to enter the military, I think you'd make a splendid commander. If they had a uniform small enough to fit her, at least. Hey, no teasing allowed! Haha, <laughs> either way, best of luck. I'm sure we'll be in the middle of another field study by then, but I'll be praying that things go well for you. The thanks, Reen! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is starting to look way too much like a sappy Ten Mira novella. Let me just step in right here and keep you two from stumbling into a badly written fantasy. What kind of novellas are you reading? Was it something I said? Now, now, asking questions will only encourage her. To change the subject before this gets out of hand, thanks for helping us test the bike out again. This is for you. Yeah! Haha, <laughs> just glad I could help. Hee <laughs> hee, see you later then, Reen. Good luck investigating the old schoolhouse, too. Au revoir! You'll be the first person we ask if we need any more help. Oh, we did it. Uh, Tao will go on a road trip with Angelica after graduating, and it will be great. Won't it, Solen? Uh, hello, Reen Schwarzer of Class 7 speaking. It's Sarah, you knocking out those requests from um, the student council? Yeah, I made my way through several of them now, and I'm just getting started on the rest. Nice. I've got something to talk to you about, so come along to the facility lounge while you can. Faculty lounge. I'm not going to take it out of your grades if you don't show her anything. Personal thing later. Alright, I'm getting a little tired of the reading today. There's a lot of it. That seven mysteries things kind of wore me out. So, Facility Lounge, right? This is the secret quest. Alright. This is it, guys. Battle the final boss early. The final boss, which is this thing in my arm. Which is blinking, by the way. This thing is alive. It's blinking. 
Let me save, just in case she has me doing something crazy. Uh, let me get a drink of something really quick. I'm ready. Ah, oh, there you are. Seems like everything's going smoothly with the student council. For the most part, yeah. Heh, <laughs> glad to hear it. I'm almost finished with another day's boring paperwork here. Wanna skip this joint and head into town? You can treat me to a couple of beers for being such a dedicated teacher. Yeah, for some reason I see the school frowning on that. Hee <laughs> hee, you never cease to entertain, Reen. So, need the dip, let it slip that he gave you guys some kind of special training last month. Wait, what are you... Oh, you must mean those swimming lessons. Exactly. I've been pretty pleased at how much all of the guys have been improving their times. And then, boom, I find out that it's all because of nave meddling. I'm still fuming. Do you know how much I crow? How much crow I was eating when he bragged right to my face? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's the deal with those two? It's like they're locked into some mortal struggle to outdo each other. Well, if that's how he wants to play it, the gloves are coming off. I'm going to hold special girls-only lessons, and you're just the man who's going who's going to help me out. But you just said it was girls only. Oh, but I need you, Reen. I need you to tell me all of the juicy details about what name I've been drilling you on. So you're free now, right now, right? I almost regret saying it, but I am. Splendid! Let's tear off our clothes and get into our swimming suits. Go gather up all the girls and tell them to meet me at the gymnasium. At the, 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 the gym. At the, at the gym. And here's everyone. Oh, Millium has her costume now. So what sort of training will we be doing here? It hasn't escaped my notice that only us girls are here too. What sort of training indeed? I'm more worried about the wandering gaze of a certain boy in our miss. Well, things champin. Listen up, Instructor Reen is here, is gonna tell us all about the secret training they decided to give the guys. Did you know he actually held a special workshop just for them? Doesn't it burn you up that none of you were included? Not really. Knowing him, it was probably just needless extortion. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. He seems the kind of guy who likes boring monologues and macho training sessions and that sort of stuff. Wow, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Green is way too nice to ever stare at boobs or something. I know. He's a good kid. He's busy staring at Laura's rabbit ears. Alright, let's start with this so-called man-way method of his. What does that involve exactly? Uh, this actually, this actually sounds pretty cool! The general idea behind the man-way method is that people put more effort into things when they beat other people at them. First up, we'll have Reen, the mean machine, show us how it's done. Go ahead and choose who you want to square off with. You know, just Reen is fine, really. Okay, I'm stuck here anyway. Might as well make the most of it. Alright, who's the best one here? Is there... Do we get any bonuses if we, like, compete with a certain person? Or is it all the same? Alyssa. That's her name, Alyssa. I think she's the only one whose name I can't remember. You chose Sarah. You know what? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go crazy. And I'm gonna choose Milliam. Something tells me... Something tells me she's gonna be a god in the water. Something tells me. You know, it's probably best to ask now, but... You haven't taken any swimming lessons here yet, have you? How much do you even know about swimming? Should I start blowing you up some water wings? Oh, I know plenty! Mwahaha! <laughs> If you think you'll zoom past me because I'm small, you got another thing coming. Oh, don't worry. I'm well aware of how much energy you have to spare. I'm not entirely sure how well she can swim, but if she's that confident, I guess she won't drown at least. How about it then? Care to go first and show me what you got? Sure. 
Looks like we got our first match. Let's not waste any time getting started then. Ready and go. Alright, Reen versus a four year old. I can do this. E or R. Okay. <sighs> I've done this th two times already, I'll do it a third. Good start. There was cute dialogue. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Even with the mistakes, I did it. Swimming's hard, guys. I'm not gonna lie, swimming's really hard. Yeah, I would have won if you'd let me use Lammy. Having someone else swim for you kind of defeats the entire point. Can that thing even swim? Don't feel too bad. You did pretty well for yourself out there, Milliam. Anyway, get back over here. We're not done yet. Not even close. Hey! Link up! <sighs> so what did Nay blah, blah have you guys do after this? Well, the first part was having us all go to head, head, head to head like we did just now. After that, he pushed us to our limits, swimming the length of the pool with just 30 seconds of rest between laps. In terms of distance, I'd say we ended up swimming well over 5,000 Arge. But that's crazy! Now that's what I call a long distance swim. That sounds about right for a regular training session. Er, maybe for you, Laura. Nah, the distance doesn't really bother me, but I don't want to swim laps back and forth. Boring! How about we play tag? Oh? Haha, <laughs> I'm up for it for if, I'm up for it if the rest of you are. Sounds fun. I'm not opposed to the idea. Yeah, I just hope a certain someone use fun and games as an excuse to get all grabby. Relax, this is me you're talking about, not Crow. I I'm sure it'll be fine. Huh. Well, looks like everyone's up for a rousing game of tag. Woohoo! I'll be it first! Uh, grueling training session devolved into pool games. Tch. Oh no. So, Rain grabbed a couple areas accidentally. Oh well. <gasps> Ceram capsule! That's awesome. And that's it. Now, let's do the heart events. So let me go to the, the place really quick. The, the town section. I definitely want to do the heart events with Milliam, Crow, and Elliot. And then I have to decide on the last one. I believe Elliot, or not Elliot, Crow is right. Not here. Right, this is the someone's house. Do not disappoint you. Um, I'm going to not disappoint uh, Salem, and I'm going to end the stream there today. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Oh, that does disappoint. Sorry. In that case, never mind. Well, what are you doing here, Crow? Yo, Reen. I left something here yesterday, so I just came to pick it up. Though, man, I always forget how much of a pain moving it, moving is until I have to do it again. This is why I want to use my old room just to store stuff in. I wouldn't push your luck with that. Should I give him a hand? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't mind giving you a hand. You look like you need it. You serious? Man, I guess they were right when they said you can't beat having a loyal first year at your beck and call. Oh, just to make it clear, this is unpaid labor, I'm afraid. Don't worry, I wasn't expecting payment from the guy who conned 50 Mira off me. I forgot about that. Hey yo! Yo! Ah, hey there. What's up, Crow? What's this I hear about you being a first year again? I heard worse. Did they kick you out already? 
Come on, you guys know nobody would ever want to get rid of me. Show a little respect to the guy teetering on the edge of his second first year. Haha, <laughs> you've only got yourself to blame for that one. So I'm guessing this guy's a first year in your new class, Crow? Yes, I'm from class 7. Well, how about that? Let me give you a little tip. Never drop your guard around this guy. How can you forget about the 50 Mira? It was the most important scene. Well, I don't know. I try to remember, but it's just, you know, things have been happening with, like, like the terrorist attacks and the, and the G people. Gideon. You know, that guy. Because he'll be in your pockets the second you do. Hey now, we don't want to give my new classmate here the wrong impression. <laughs> Trust me, I've got all the impressions I need by now. This is ridiculous, Crow. Shut up and give me a hand here. This thing isn't gonna carry itself. Uh, you could at least ask nicely. Alright, let's go get the rest of this crew. The crew to help us out with this. Huh? Terrorist made me forget that's a convenient, a convenient excuse. Yeah, and Crow joining, and Milliam joining, and these cat ears. Understandable. It is. That should be... that should just about do it. Thanks for the help, guys. Don't sweat it. Just make sure you pay back that money you owe me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Heh, <laughs> in that case, we'll leave you to it. Thank you for your help. The crew is just a girl. The second years left the room. Yep, they're still there, but they left the room. They left in a hurry. Ah, well, wouldn't have been able to move all that on my own anyway, so I'll let it slide this time. I'm surprised you've got so many people to show up to help. You really do have a lot of friends, don't you? Well, I've been here for two years now, right? Keep it up, and one day you might be as famous as Old Crow here. Eh, I get the feeling that in order to be that popular, I'd need to be Old Crow. Alright then, now that you've got your furniture, I'll say it once again. Welcome to the Class 7 Dormitory. Haha, <laughs> thanks man. Yay! Hopefully, Selen is happy with this development. Crow is here now. And that's convenient too, because my next person I need to talk to is also here. Hey yo! Oh, you're in your your robotic like gear, aren't you? Selen is happy. Yay! And that's all I can do for my viewers. Wasn't the most exciting event, but still, Crow! What's with that get up? It's our free day, so I got all dressed up to go shopping! You probably shouldn't, shouldn't be seen in public dressed like that. Why don't you just wear your uniform? Boo, that's no fun! Trust me, fun isn't the issue here. Uh, leaving her on her own. Let's go! Mind if I tag along? Fine by me! What are we waiting for? Let's go! Only after you've changed into some other clothes. Aw, oh, I'm regretting letting you come with me already. Uh, shopping, ad shopping adventure. Huh? I didn't think you'd head straight for the boutique. Are you looking for new clothes? Well, yeah. I don't really have any normal clothes. Hehe. <laughs> I hope they got some cute stuff. <laughs> I guess she's got a girly side after all. Sure. Let's go take a look at what they're they've got. Yeah, they look way too big for you. Oh, hey, look, this is nice. Hmm, most of the stuff here doesn't seem like it fit you. I'm pretty sure there's a kids section over there you can check out, though. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna be huge soon enough. I got a bright future ahead of me. I admire your optimism, at least. <laughs> How about this? Cute? Hmm, I guess. You might want to look for stuff that matches how energetic you are, though. Oh, Lamy could totally wear this! She asks me a question and then proceeds to ignore me. Hey, hey, I want to try this on! Try what on? Milliam showed Reen a see-through camisole. 
<laughs> no. Okay, no, 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 no. Definitely not. No, you're way too young to wear something like that. <laughs> What's up with that th reaction? I don't even want to know what I just ran through your mind, do I? I'm older than you, so how am I the one getting bullied here? Uh, brush at the store's wares, and return to the dorm. Thanks for coming with me, Reed. It was pretty fun having you help. <laughs> nice to hear. We definitely bought too much stuff, though. You probably don't even need half of this. It's all good. Claire gives me tons of money to spend. What? Is it too heavy for you? Want me to bring out Lammy to help? No, no, I'm fine. Phew, we're gonna need to teach this girl some common sense. There we go. Oh, we gotta get our link up with her. And finally... Well, not finally, but next up is Elliot. I want to see how his little band recital goes, or his instrument... whatever. Yeah, I like that event. Good thing we stopped Millium from buying a see-through camisole thing. My stream would have gotten flagged or even banned. If she actually tried that on. Alright, uh, let's go, let's go entertain some of the local chillins. Hey Mint, how you doing? Oh Reen, you made it! Yeah, you're looking good. Nervous? Yeah, yep, I can totally tell. Thanks! There's still some time left before you're on, right? Let's chat a little before then. It might help calm your nerves. <laughs> Thanks Reen, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, tuning his violin. That should do it. All that's left now is to wait until it starts. Not long now. You're looking pretty confident, though. Huh? Well, I mean, I can tell you're nervous, but you look focused, like you've just had a big distraction taken off your mind. Hmm, you're probably right. And I think that's thanks to last month's field study. Now that you mention it, a lot of good things happened to me while we were back in Heimdaller. I got to meet my friends who ended up attending the music academy, and I got to talk to you all about everything. I finally have the confidence I needed to stop running away from my love of music. But I never would have gained that much confidence if it weren't for all of you. Haha, <laughs> you really are tough, aren't you? Good luck out there, Elliot. I'll be cheering you on with the rest of the audience. Just you wait. We're gonna put on the kind of show you'll tell your grandkids about. Do we get to watch it? We get to listen to it. There we go. Go, Mint! Go, blonde girl! Go, Elliot! Elliot. Looks so cute up there. So dashing. Reen saying that, not me. Elliot and the rest of the wind orchestra played passionately, pouring all they had into every note. Passion captured the hearts of all who were present, and the performance was deemed a resounding success. Huzzah! I like that event, that was cool. Knowing you were here definitely have a biz, a far away, we were impressed, looking forward to hearing more. Thanks, Reen. What does Mint have to say? I actually kind of messed up at the beginning. Elliot and Bridgie totally covered for me, though. Hee <laughs> hee, it's awesome to have friends who will help you out like that. Well, good for you guys. What are you kids thinking? The boy and the violin and girl in the play was so good. I want to play just like them when they grow up. Well, good luck. What are these two thinking of? Having a lover's... something? What's your deal? I can go see a musical performance if I want, can't I? Something's up here. Besides, you were fidgeting so much that Rosine had to scold you. Just spit it out, Kay. What were you really doing here? Uh, Taizo likes music and stuff. How do you know next to her? Blah, 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 blah. Couldn't enjoy the performance of the day because of Kay. I've been waiting all year for this, too. He's such a pain! Those two are gonna get married someday. You know it. 
You know it's gonna happen. Alright, let's go. And I think I know who the last mining point I want to spend it on. By the way, Selen, is there anything else I need to do at all? Anything else at all? No more secret missions? No anything? Is it time? Is it time, Selen? For ragey, ragey, rage? Uh, a school, a school place? Monica has been making great strides with her swimming lately. She may even reach her goal of swimming 50 Arge today. Uh huh, Coach sure, glad to hear it. Back to usual self, something the matter. Nah, everything's fine. <laughs> okay, let's go. Is there anything I can do to help? I think it'd be great to see her reach her goal too. Ha <laughs> ha, you have my thanks. Now then, why don't you go change into your swimsuit? Sure thing. Oh, we're racing Monica today. Are we? I don't know. Monica. Today is the day you clear your 50 Arge goal, or Arge goal. Are you prepared? Yeah, I won't let you down, Laura. That's the spirit. Reen, your job is to swim alongside her and act as her lead. I'll be observing from the side of the pool. You'd think you did the exact same events? Wow. It's almost like we're the same people. Thanks for helping me out. No problem. Good luck, Monica. Huh. Puff. You can carry this you can carry this through to the end, Monica. I know you can. Come on, you're almost there. Only three Arge left. Two, one. Dead. She did it! Should my puppet be underwater, by the way? Or is that a is that fine? Huh. Huh, I mean my stuffed plushy thing. But wait, was that it? Did I do it? You did. You never even had to put your feet down either. Splendid work, Monica. I really did it, Laura. Monica's hard work finally had finally paid off as she cleared her initial goal. Every last member of the swimming club congratulated her on her achievement, even those who didn't believe she could do it. All of her hard work paid off. Thank you for being my assistant today, Reen. <laughs> it was nothing. I'm just happy to see that things are good between you and Monica again. Heh, <laughs> that makes two of us. I have now recon reconciled with both Monica and Fee, so I believe that I... No, I believe that we will continue to grow from here on out. I, I hope that you and I will be able to keep supporting each other too. You can count on me. Yes! Awesome! Alright. I don't think I gave the... I don't think I saw a message telling me otherwise, so... It's time to enter the old schoolhouse. Once again. And it's time to rage like a crazy raging buffoon. I, for one, can't wait. Yes. I did it. Yes. Queen Slay. Once I start exploring the old schoolhouse, I don't all have time for anything else today. Should I just head on in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, time to send out the call. I promise I'd take Crow and Milliam with me this time, but who else should I invite? I need a trustworthy person with me. Uh, a healy person. Someone who can heal me. On a dime! Who could heal everyone again? Not Laura. Either Elliot or Fee had the he big healing move. You know what? I trust Fee, so I'll take Fee with me. And we haven't seen a lot of Laura and Emma, so... There we go. Or not Laura. Al Alyssa. Alyssa. That's her name. Alyssa. Okay? Okay, everyone? Alright? Alright. Elliot, Emma, Alyssa, and Machias can heal. Ah. Oh well. This will be like a challenge mode for me, I guess. Huh? So this is what it looks like inside. And you say weird stuff happens in here every month? Yeah, just like I told you yesterday. This will be our fifth trip in. 
but we have no idea, no more of an idea, what we might find down here more than you do. Yeah, there's no telling what could happen, especially after last month. True, didn't, didn't expect something like that red door. And Reen's sister ended up in danger because of it, too. Yeah, I'm just glad that she was alright. Huh? Nobody tell me about that! Anyway, let's get down to business. Don't worry, I'll cover you if things get rough down here, there. Haha, <laughs> chances are, I'll need it. Alright, let's go. Oh boy. I have a feeling spot number five is lit up. I have a feeling about that. Yep. Yes, indeed. Indeedy do. The fifth floor is lit up on the display. Oh, there's one more left after this. Guess that means we should be able to descend to the next level now. Oh, oh let me see. What kind of mechanism is at work here? Even after all these months, I can't make heads or tails of it. Huh? Huh. What's wrong, Short Stack? Something bugging you? Well... <laughs> sorry, I have no clue how this thing works. Uh, I didn't figure you would. Anyway, let's head on down. We've come this far. Might as well see what this new floor has in store for us. Oh yeah, let me get a piece of the action. We're ready. Uh, floor five. Oh boy, what's this floor gonna be like? And how badly will I rage on this level? Uh, excuse me, I'm okay. So this is floor five. Seems so. There's a strange sort of presence lingering in the air here, too. Right, much like on the level above, the higher elements seem to be in effect here as well. Same as always, then. Huh? So it's the same as that ancient quarry back in Nord? That's so cool you can send stuff like that, though. Know what's even cooler? Being able to control that giant silver thing you've got. Good point. Hehe, <laughs> really? Baby! Alright, we've got some exploring to do. You guys just leave this to me and Lammy. We'll smash through anything. <laughs> We're counting on you then. This is a good chance to get used to fighting together. Maybe even try out some combat links. Yay! It's hard to feel tense with Millium here. Hey, it's better than everyone being on edge, ready to jump at anything, right? Anyway, I'm ready to roll. Alright, careful down here, everyone. Uh, thanks, Solen. I'm gonna need all the luck. Whoops. All the luck I need. Good night. Good morning. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's get exploring. You got it, Crow. Oh, there's a big turtle there. Alright. There's a teleporter. Ah, uh, fifth time here, guys. Advantage is ours. Let's finish. Advantage is ours. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Alright. Oh, crow. That's cool. I like that thing you did there with the missing. Here we go. My turn. You know what I'm gonna do? Time to reach. Bye bye. I'm running. Because... Set links. Yeah, I will. Let's set up tactics as well. You guys over here. Uh, you over here. There we go. And you two. Over. Here. Actually, you have a gun, so you switch with her. Uh, set link. You and you. The white hairs and the blue hairs. Perfect. Here we go. Here's a crappy monster chest immediately. I'm ready. I'm Do ready for this, guys. Take them out. Take them out. What arts do you have? Good stuff. Crafts. More good stuff. Let's see what an attack does. No! No! 
Are you sure you don't want to link Crow and, and Reem? Why is there does I get a, do I get a special bonus or something if I do? My turn. Because if I do, then sure, I'll do that. I know, I know, but I'm gonna do this. Here we go. It would please you. It's that. Yay! There we go. Now we gotta fight. Ha 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 ha, you sucker! You sucker! Yeah! Oh uh, boy. Hopefully Crow doesn't keep doing that, you know? You bad guys better watch out! I sure would. <laughs> you bad guys better watch out! Bibbidi-bibbidi-bidu. <gasps> Yggdrasil, ooh. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Wrong. Right. Uh, set link, crow. We'll have the boys and the little girls. There we go. He obviously needs more acceleration, or whatever that thing means. Do you have anything better? No. Anything to up your accelerate? This. <gasps> the cart badge! Of course! Anything else? Because 50% is good and all, but it's not good enough for me. Also, give Crow some good quartz. Aw, oh, we're missing. Oh no, they're all they're all done. What does a Yggdrasil do? Uh, summons a sentient tree to skewer enemies. I might have that on, on Crow, actually. Yggdrasil sounds amazing. Oh, uh, Spirit Breaker? What does that do? Costs negative whatever. You have heal. Do you have something better than heal? Like Tyria? Grim Butterfly. What else is good? Silverthorn, Crescent Mirror, Voice Breaker. Uh, Luck, Detection. I don't know. Cross Crusade? Sure, let's do that one. As for you, you're good. Uh, let's do a quick again really quick. There we go. You can have a doll for a little bit. And you can have a Mishy for a little bit. Ain't that cute, guys? Ain't that great? Thank you, little time, you do. Well. Don't worry, as soon as I get cat ears, things will be different. Falcon yeah. Punch! Alright, if you want to fight that bad. My turn! Oh, I can't see the new thing. I wanted it, someone else to. I wanted to see the new the new things. Oh well. Grand Butterfly! Like that. Here I go! Don't mess with us! Aww. Super cute. Again, I've always wanted a little sister, but oh no. Unfortunately. And it would have been even better if the little sister had a silver thing with her. Oh, that's awesome. Advantage is ours. Let's finish. Triple advantage, baby. I'll handle it. Go. My parents did not. Yep. No little sister for me. Here I go. Here I go. My turn. My turn. These turtles are gonna be a pain right. in the booty to defeat. My turn. My turn. 
dua jab. Oh. Here we go. Try out crow's crafts. I could. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Rapid volley or freezing bullet. Let's do the first one first. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> My turn. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. My turn. All right, we'll see crow's other one next. Okay, it's safe for now. Safe for now. Wow, look at this. A chest. Ain't that awesome? Ah, lots of septith, I love it. So let's see, any other chestas? Nope. Maybe. Did I go this way yet? There! Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to punch a thing. Love you some crow. Yeah, crow is pretty tasty. Uh, I mean, uh, crow is uh, cool. He's a cool character. He's a cool character. Oh my gosh. Whoops. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. It's time. I didn't know I could do this, but I can. I can fish down here. Hit. I'm getting an eel or something. I'm getting some kind of weird eel. Arrgh, arrgh, matey. Arrgh, arrgh. Oh, da 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 Oh my gosh. Alright, that's enough fishing for the day. No, I want to punch the things. Stop it. There we go. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. No, it's not. It's a bad spot. It's the worst spot. Advantage is ours. Let's finish it. Uh, My turn. Nah. Bye bye. I'm like, uh -huh, nah. I'm good. I'm alright. I'm alright. <laughs> Whoops. Come on. Move it. There. This thing's had a little. A little wonky to control, but I'm loving it. I'm loving this thing. Ha <laughs> ha love it. Punching things. Here we go. Wish I had a big punching silver thing. Wouldn't that be awesome? Leave it to me. Eat lead. Eat lead. Here I go. All right, we'll have Milliam punch this thing. That thing's okay. dizzy, so let's go over there. My turn. All right. All right. Let's see what Cross Crusade is like, or Yggdrasil. Let's do Yig Yggdrasil. That's gonna be fun. Get ready, guys. Whoa! It's a tree. Awesome. See? I don't slack up all the time. Oh, Crow, you beautiful human being, you. I did it! Yes, you did, Reed. I'm proud of you. Oh, here we go. Dear! Dear! Oh, uh, another turtle. I don't like these turtles. Now the chin. Let's get him. Now the chin. Let's get him. My turn. Say. I'll handle it. Oh no. Attack the wrong one. All right. Now that his acceleration yeah. thing is up, yeah. I can deal with this guy a bit more better as well. Okay. Turtles are slow. I know. They're slow, but they're beefy. Here we go. Beefy turtles. All right. You know what? Selene wanted to see the crafts. Let's see the other one. Racing bullet. <laughs> Get it? Chill out. <laughs> Get it? That wasn't so good. Oh, this thing is extremely effective against uh, ice. 
but Ice Move did not do that much. That kind of stinks. Oh well. Go! My turn. Do something awesome! Like Phantom Phobia. The freeze thing doesn't do much damage, but it slows and freezes. That's good at least. Let's keep going! There. Oh, what's this? No, let me pick it up. Terra Bomb! Fire Sept Death! Hey, if I ever get stuck, I can just keep smashing pots and get ter Terra Bombs. Curia Bomb. I love it! Anything else? There's a monster there, a little one. Nice by treasure. No, no, come on. Red pendulum. Cool. Oh, uh, it's a lot. That is a lot. But okay. I have a feeling that our friend Fi here is gonna do something awesome. Yeah. Like kill them all. Oh, that's awesome. Eat lad. Eat lad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There. Yeah, I gained two very powerful allies. Okay, it's safe for now. I'm very happy with this. That's a lot of experience. Done. Peace. Peace and love. Peace and love. Anything here? No. No luck there. Is this the end? We did it! Still not done? Oh, <laughs> no, we're not done yet. Of course we're not done yet. What would be the fun if we were done already? Let's finish it. Oh, I don't want to do this one. Sorry, we're running. We're running. If there's a thing where we can raise our CP or whatever, or our EP, or you know what I mean. That's when I'll fight these guys. I'll take that. No, no items from that. Rats. Anything? Oh, here we go. EP charge number two. Hi there! No! Ah, poopy. It's fine, there's two of them. Just two of them. Two little babies. Okay. Now! My turn. Let's do this again. I want to see Cross Crusade. Uh oh! We're dead! Yep, I like that move. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Look at that. Are you guys seeing how much rage is happening this time around? There's practically none. Things are going good. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a blast. Things are fun. I'm punching turtles in the backside. My turn. Well, this battle's not fun, but I can run from them. <laughs> Defense three. That'll be really good. Anything over here? Couple of pots. Was that a mean treasure chest over there? No, it's a normal one. This one's all ours. Oh, there's My a thing turn. there. Can I do something really quick? Um, move. My turn. Move. Move. Yes, sir. Move. My turn. Move. Here we go. Die. Huh. Oh darn it. My turn. Fine, just attack them all. 
Just attack them all quickly. My turn. Thought I'd save some time, but it didn't work. There we go. My turn. Sir. Watch out. Oh, there's two I missed. Yes, sir. That kind of stinks. Oh, I can punch two of them. William's awesome. My turn. Ooh, burn. Ow. Oh, he's stoned. My turn. I mean, he's 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 petrified. All right. Eva. See, I don't slack up all the time. Whew. Yeah, everyone leveled up there. I'm awesome. You're awesome. Riot beam. Our air jetlem fires a beam of light. That's awesome. Please hold your blocks. <gasps> Wild card draws a card, leaving everything to chance. What will happen? Oh, that's a risky one. <laughs> I did it. Making progress. Should I do that one a lot? I don't know. I don't know. I should try, just for fun. Oh, there's a turtle. Oh, he hit me just, just in time. Retreat. Didn't work. Leave it to me. Couldn't run. There we go. Oh, anything else? There's another monster over there. You want to see when Reen and Crow do a link attack together and the battle ends? I'll try. I can't promise it'll happen anytime soon, but I'm gonna try. These link attacks don't exactly happen at random, you know. My turn. There's one here. I'm gonna try this. Nope, didn't work. My turn. Uh, don't do anything. Attack. Yes. Gotcha. Hey, Selen. Now we're talking. You should help us out more often. There you have it. There you have it. Hopefully that was worth it. Good thing she's here. I mean, how else? Like, where else would I be able to punch big jars and stuff? Come on, go, 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 go. Cool, we're finally done. So, quick question, Selene. How big is the cutscene after this battle? And how big is this battle in, in general? Please let me know right now. As I do this, these sh shenanigans. Ha ha ha! Cool. That's everyone. Be sure to equip equipped freeze resistant accessories. But like I said, are there any You don't how don't know how long the cutscene is? The fight is pretty hard. Oh god. Should I do this one tomorrow or now? I'll ask you that right now. I'll do this, of course. Freeze. Well, let's go here. Freeze, freeze, freeze. 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 What do you know? Good thing I got the red the pendulum thing. Uh freeze, 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 freeze. Oh no, I have no freeze things. I have no freeze things, guys. Freeze things are gone. There's not a long cutscene, because I need to leave the schoolhouse again. Okay. Well, we might be screwed, so if I die here, then so be it. Yeah, no freeze-resistant accessories. How boned am I? I can blind them, so these grenade will be good. Okay. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one, all right. Is 
This one's nasty. Watch out. It's, I'll say this one's nasty. Look at him. Here we go. Look at him. Uh, Chrono Drive. Sure, why not? Speed up. All right. Now we're faster. Uh, Recuria, Chrono Drive, Analyze. What's your other thing? Wild card. Let's play a fun game of Risk, shall we? Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. Sword. Strength up. Cool. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? I'm gonna absolutely hate this. Alright, I know what to do here. Uh, Auto Leaf Cutter! There. Your impede thing is gone! Cool. This is a cool battle. I was careless. Fee's dead. Um, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. I'm gonna have him kill me, and I'm gonna fight an easier version, cause fudge yeah. this battle. Yep, cool. I knew this was going too well. I knew this was going too well. How much attack does he- oh my gosh, so many. So much. Whoops. How much would a, cra a big crap thing do? Not much. <laughs> oh, this battle is going to be the worst yet. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Yep, give me the easier version, please. Please give me the easier version. That one looks pretty hard. Alright, good. I hope. I wonder if he can keep getting easier and easier. Like, until his HP is like at 2 or something. Alright, let's do this! Let's do this! My turn! I'm not gonna do the wild card, unfortunately. As cool as that is. Bang, bang, bang! Go get him! Go! It will get easier every time. Cool. Uh, so just keep losing until uh, he's at a normal level. A normal level where I can beat him. All right. Let's see. No. Is there any way to impede this guy? Yes. Sweet. Cool. My turn. Yes, don't do anything. Riot Beam! I want to see what that does. Woohoo! Awesome. Alright, this thing is a little stupider this time, but I still don't trust him. I'm gonna try something, guys. Can I try something? I'm going to try every single... Well, let me wait until my crafts are at maximum. Assuming I live through this. Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Go get him! Gather on my thing. Cross Raven. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Oh, gather on your plate, that's what he says. Cross Raven! See ya. <laughs> See ya. See you later. Yeah, cool move. Okay. Okay, uh, time this right. S. Yeah. Selfie dance. 
That's that. Oh, one more. Can you finish this up, please? Easy battle. Super easy. See you later. Come again. Or don't come again. Kindly do not come again. Attack three. Woo! Woo. Glad that's over. Man, I wasn't expecting something like that to just pop up out of nowhere. But I didn't have any trouble linking with my Arcus, so I'd call this field test a rousing success. Maybe it's because I got Lammy, but it didn't seem all that tough. Stop, stop, stop talking. It was tough. Well, you both proved pretty reliable, and that's what counts in the end. Still, it seems like every floor's guardian is stronger than the last. We're gonna need to be careful if we want to keep pushing forward here. Oh, I agree. Still, there's one more floor, guys. There's no tremor this time. Huh? What tremor? Yeah, there was a tremor down here the last time. Then that red door showed up. Huh? Really? Doesn't seem like anything's happened this time, though. Well, we're sitting here looking at a dead end. But let's get out of here already. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, it's probably evening by now. Let's head out, then. Keep your eyes peeled for anything that looks different, just in case. Oh, we did it. Random link with Emma. I'll take it. I want to see if I can leave the place and then can just continue on outside yep no no funky door here yeah just walk away walk away you're spent yeah I'm spent as well I think I am good I'm gonna leave this place I'm gonna call it a stream and we'll be back on this on Sunday because Saturday is the Games Club Day. And it's gonna be at my house. So one more little cutscene. Huh? It sure got cloudy while we were in there. Looks like it's gonna rain. Good stream, lots of crow. Yeah, you know it. And you can bet there's gonna be even more crow in the next one. Yeah, looks like a storm's on the way. So Sharon's hunch turned out to be true after all. At this point, I shouldn't even be surprised. I guess it was just business as usual this time. Nothing looked like that strange red door we found last month. Yeah, I kept looking out. I kept looking on our way back just to be sure. But nothing really looked too conspicuous. Maybe there's another piece of internal logic to the old schoolhouse that caused the door and that suit of armor to appear. Do you have D&D &D tomorrow too? Very nice. Thing is, though, we're not playing D&D &D tomorrow. I gotta confess, last week's D&D &D session was absolutely abysmal. Like, you thought I was raging then? You have no idea, like, how salty I was. In fact, not salty, just soul-draining, bored, you know, that kind of thing. But I hope your session is good. You'll have to tell me how you run your session sometime like the next stream. True. Yeah, Fee agrees. That does seem to follow what we know. Actually, that reminds me of something George said the other day. After all the time he spent with it, he still doesn't understand how that thing was able to move in the first place. So even George. Yeah, whatever technology was used to make that armor, it's never seen anything, he's never seen anything like it. And if George can't make heads or tails of it, it must be like nothing else out there. Huh? Sounds kind of like Lammy. Even I don't know how he moves around. 
Doesn't sound like that bothers you. Whoops, guess we stood around chatting for too long. We better head back before we're, we get hit with a full shower. Yes, that sounds best. Alright, we'll leave the rest to you, fearless leader. Why do people keep thinking I'm some kind of leader? Eh, yeah, we'll just walk. Walk in the rain. Why not? So this is the place Gramps was talking about, huh? It does seem like there's gotta be... It does seem like there's gotta be something here. But I don't think that force alone is gonna cut it. Mil Milliam? Sorry, coming! Silver bell. Silver bells. Silver... Oh, I got a little umbrella. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, do we all have... Oh, we, we don't have the people on our team. Darn it. Alright. So tomorrow, we will do more... More stuff. Another bonding point will be used up. Probably on fee. And yeah. We will continue this on Sunday. So as usual, Selene, thank you so much for stopping by and always coming here. You're the best. Definitely the best. And I hope you have a good weekend. Also, I'll be back tonight with more Hyrule Warriors. It'll be fun. It'll be great. So until then, you all have a good day and spend the day well, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!